Good how do you see do? You. How do you do? Thanks Hi. for having me. Wonderful. Um, you're a, a singer, you're a dancer, you're a songwriter, oh, that, you're everything. I'm not. That's <laughs> I'm sure I'm you're not. everything. <laughs> and we met through Ron and Angela at the yes. Christmas party. Right, Ron Apria, was, Angela De Niro, yeah. and I want to thank them very much yeah. for introducing us. Yes, and I heard you playing at that white piano, and I said, oh my <laughs> goodness, she's somebody. Oh, wow. And, and I knew right thank away you. that I wanted to have you on a as thank a guest. You. Ron had mentioned about uh, suggesting you for, as a guest. Is that wonderful? Yeah. Now, how many people do that? They yeah. are so giving, and yeah. they're so talented. Yes. yes. And... Um, and, and I said, well, I already had it on my agenda. Well, look at that, great minds. <laughs> and so it was really great. And then I really enjoyed doing all the research on you and finding out that you're a lead vocalist for the Peter Durchin Dur 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 mm -hmm. Orchestra. Yes. And, and that you've performed at six presidential inaugurations. Wow. That sounds like I'm pretty old now, doesn't it? Like <laughs> Six times more. Starting at Lincoln. No, no, <laughs> wow. Congratulations, because what an honor just even to be at the White House, you know, just as a visitor, yes. let alone performing that at such a wonderful. wonderful. Yeah. And you performed at Windsor Castle as well. I did too, for the Queen, oh, and oh um, for one of our anniversaries, and I played for Prince Edward's uh, 21st birthday. <laughs> really? Wow. wow. I, I, I do have a little short story about that. Uh -huh. I, I ended up seeing Prince Edward at another party years later and I, I, I said, oh, you know, I played your 21st birthday and he said, Oh, you must have been a teenager then. I said, no, I love this man. <laughs> That's great. That was very cute. Wow. So you've been doing it, you know, for I have been. Good I for followed you. Followed my heart, you know, and I think that's the thing to do. And in life. you know, I really one of the reasons I like having the show is to profile artists and performing artists. Because, that is great. And. Um, uh, you know, I didn't have the confidence to do it. Uh, oh. You know, I became an accountant. But you know, <laughs> you're smart. <laughs> you had to carry equipment. <laughs> and um, but fortunately, I had a career of working with all these creative, talented people, and and I just got you That's know front great. row seat on um, all the issues and concerns and mm -hmm. you know what you deal with as an artist. And yes. uh, God bless. Oh my you gosh. Know? And uh, you carry it out, and you know. Yeah, as I said, you follow your heart. You got to do what you love. Yeah. That's the key. Yeah, that's you the have key. to have passion because yes. it's a and long drive. Ride. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and um, you're also an art. You're a cartoonist. Yes. yes, I do cartooning. Uh, not mm -hmm. for a living yet, but I'd, uh -huh. I'd like to do that someday. But, and, uh, um, and then you're also an artist. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I was at the cutting room. You have a lot of your pieces at the cutting room. I do. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Steve Walter. I yeah. have a little home there for my work. Oh, how know. exciting. I was there for Lords of 52nd Street. And oh, yes. nice. You, have, you know, they're just a, a new band of J mm -hmm. Billy Joel's original band members. That's great. Unbelievable. That's great. I was at their second ever show mm -hmm. at the cutting room. And it was sold out. Sold out. Packed. Excellent. Excellent. It, incredible. Wonderful. And, um, you know, Richie Canada and um, mm -hmm. Liberty, Liberty DeVito. Yeah, DeVito. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it, was, it was just packed. Mm -hmm. and, and Richie was like, you know, hey, everybody, it's my second show. <laughs> Our second show. That's great. And uh, it was really, really exciting. You and know, the fact that people coming out to see live music, that's the most oh, important yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. And to, you know, in today's economy yeah. to fill out a venue. And mm -hmm. then when I went downstairs, I saw the green room and I was like, oh, wow, cool. <laughs> if I could just like get back there. And then I saw this amazing piece of art, you know, like on the, the wall for the yeah. green room. Yeah. And it was by Bird. And I was like, oh, that's so unusual, Bird. <laughs> yeah. um, Who the heck is that? <laughs> and then I, and I said, well, with the Lords of 52nd Street as well. I got to take a picture, and it turns out it was your piece. It was of my piece. You're on That's the like, like the, the wall. To, I mean, you're on the door to the green room, and I have a piece inside the green oh. room. That's the one I'd like to know what that piece has seen. Oh, in the green room Put a behind, behind closed door. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Conversations, right? <laughs> exactly. It, it was uh, really fabulous. So, really, congratulations! And you Thank saw you, it on my Ginger. Facebook page. I, I saw it. And I said, "Did you know that this was mine?" And I was going to do your show. And it's like, "Wow!" Yeah, and then cool. and I was like, "Now I know who Bird is, of course." <laughs> And you're, you're a lover of birds. And I am. I became a lover of birds. Beware uh -huh. of your name. It might just turn you in another direction. You know? That's so great. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. You have three parrots. I have three parrots, uh -huh. three daughters. I have a blonde, a brunette, and a redhead. Uh -huh. They're my whole world. I what love are their them. names? Ratchet's the redhead. And she's been on television. Uh -huh. She's a little star. She's uh -huh. got a video out on uh, okay, YouTube yeah, called uh, uh -huh. Sing Merry Christmas. Uh -huh. And then I have Amy the blonde. Uh -huh. And I have... Um, 
Farley is the brunette. Uh -huh. yeah. And and talking of uh, blondes, faux flop blondes, <laughs> <laughs> look what I got pr prior to the show. Look, it's a caricature, right? It is, oh, it is. Of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such an apple polisher, so I'm going to draw a picture. Cute. No, no, so I, I, thank you so much. I hope you like it. <laughs> I do. And you have a new CD? You have a CD well, actually, out? Well, I have a CD. That's, uh -huh. my, that's my debut. I put that out a while ago. Yeah. But I thought I'd bring it in. 11-11. Um, mm -hmm. There's a whole story to that. Uh -huh. And uh, numbers that I've seen since, oh gosh, like 1980. And Good they followed you. me. So I did an album. I wrote, wrote music. Uh, uh, there was a song in there called 11-11. And it's very funny how I end up finding other people who have seen these numbers, like through the years. And it would be wonderful if you can autograph. I would love to. Yeah. I'd be honored to my, autograph My Sharpie uh, might be a little perfect. light. But um, okay, no, if perfect. you could just still do what you can with that. I Ooh. will. I will. <laughs> ah, great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. So we have a lot on our show for you today. Okay. We wanted to show some of your um, cartoons. Oh, great. So if the great. control room could roll in some of the artwork that we can see what, you know, you do. Now, you perform at all these society venues yes, all around the world. Yes, I do. And, and you're writing down, you know, you're drawing based on your ob observations? Based on my observations. Wow. Yeah. Oh, many, many years ago, uh, Peter Duchin, the person that I played with for many uh -huh. years, uh -huh. uh, gave me a blank book. And he said, this is the kind of book you'd like to read because he would always re be reading books. I'm not a book reader. Uh -huh. Here, this is what, so I said, wait a minute, I'm gonna draw, <laughs> I'm gonna draw all these parties. So I drew a lot of the parties. Oh, and. It's about, and about 10 years worth. Really? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Just whatever I saw, you know, whatever was funny that I thought was funny. Okay, look at that. <laughs> look at that. So funny. <laughs> and you can, and you know, not everybody gets to go to these parties. You know, I've been here in 30 years, and I yeah. probably went to one. Oh, see, but we should have met row. a long time ago. I would have <laughs> slipped you in there. I would have, uh, I would have carried Lloyd all Weber. your amps. <laughs> <laughs> he came up, and we were doing the opening of the Sunset Boulevard Andrew out in Lloyd. L.A., and he, and he said, Oh, could you play some proper rock and roll, like jailhouse rock? <gasps> oh, my. I guess we weren't doing the right thing. At all. Oh, isn't that something? So of course, he's he had like, to go in the book. He he's the most wealthy earning you know yeah. musician out there. I bet he yeah. is. I just mm -hmm. saw his new uh, show there, yep. the uh, mm -hmm. School of Rock. It was excellent, actually. Uh huh. And here's a bride who was roping Peter back after our job. <gasps> she said, "You didn't play enough. Get back here and sit at the piano." <laughs> <laughs> That's something. It's like, it's yeah. re it really happened. Here's a, a guest. Um, I think this was at uh, the State Theater. He took his uh, his false eye out and cleaned it at the table. No. He thought no one was looking. Oh my I goodness. saw it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Isn't that something? Yeah. Yeah. This and was a party that had. Um, I don't remember where it was. Ross, Ross Perot. Perot. I had to draw him. Why? Whatever my version of him. Uh, uh -huh. Very. You know. Whatever. And then uh, there was a roach. A lot of roaches coming out on the floor, believe it or not. I, I'm That's not incredible. kidding you. When I was looking at these, I was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And this is my haunted, uh, now we're going into the artwork in the yes. cutting room. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is the haunted Hendrix collage. I call it haunted now because the more you look at it, because I have another version of it in my house, people see other images in there. And oh, it's, it's amazing. Nice. Like Marvin Gaye, who I didn't put in there. Uh, Elvis is in there. I didn't put it. I mean, just endless amount of uh, wow. people. I was at an art opening last night mm -hmm. for photography, and there was a lot of um, early Elvis photos. Oh my gosh! And so I want to give a big That's shout to Alon great. Art Gallery in Harlem. Oh, it was just wonderful. so many wonderful pieces there. Mm -hmm. So I just had to throw that in. Very cool. But Very uh, cool. here's some other pieces of your artwork, and this is at the cutting room. This is at yeah. the cutting room. This one you have to go up in the second floor uh -huh. in order to see it, and it's called. Um, I call them beings when they're full-bodied sculptures. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. that's being number four. It's the fourth one I made. Wow. And it's called Dying to Play the Cello. And this was before I ever got a computer. It was my fear of what a computer was going to do to my life. Oh, like, uh -huh. leave me alone. I just want to practice. That's what that's saying. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah. Tell us about this, this one. This one, um, I actually have prints made of this as well. This is about a 36 by 48 size piece. That's in the cutting room. If you're looking at the stage, you'll be to the right uh -huh. and it's called uh, bird and flight number two uh -huh. and cool. um, 
I'm going to be going there soon. You? Uh, okay, the good. Fat Foe is going to be performing. Oh. <laughs> and I'll be on the special lookout, you know. Oh, very quick. You know, would you do me a, a big, big um, solid if, if you could take have a picture of yourself oh. in front of one whichever oh, piece sure. you like. Uh -huh. I'd love to put it on my online portfolio. Oh. I asked my friends to do that. I'd oh, love to have you there. Sure. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. I'll do that when this I get is... into the green room, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one in the green room. Oh, really? That's the one in the green room. Oh. And that's the one that sees every, God knows what. Oh. Oh, look at that. Horn and heart art. There oh, you go. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, I've seen you. that one, too. Yes, yeah. it's uh, Opus 1111. I, I Sometimes I slip the number in there just to see if somebody has oh. seen it. You know, they're attracted to it for the title. Uh-huh. Yeah. Playing yeah. the licorice. That's what. That's Isn't the name of that this one. This one, I'm, I'm familiar with this one. That's mm -hmm. when you walk into Beautiful. the main room on your right-hand side. Beautiful. That's that's simply called rock star. Oh. I mean, it. rock wow. and a star or whatever. Wow. And here's the one from the green room. There I slipped that in as a oh surprise. There you go. And there's that a, is so cool. I'm so glad it? that you like that. Oh, yeah. Somebody likes my art or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was just pulled to it, and I thought, how, how wonderful. Green room, and it was green, and then I was like, <laughs> Wow, look at all of this. And then Bird? Who's Bird? Yeah, bird. That's, and it was you. It's me. I, you know, I was always called Bird uh, as a little kid, Roberta, Bird yeah. for short. Uh -huh. And um, here's, I just, can I tell you yes. a little, little uh -huh. it's a silly story, but I went to Berkeley College of Music. I, who, I'm a basic rock and roller at heart. So mm -hmm. I go to the School of Jazz to force myself into that world. Oh, That's what uh -huh. I did. So I walk into one of the practice rooms. Somebody did an amazing uh, drawing of Charlie Parker, and I didn't even know, I didn't know who Charlie Parker was. <laughs> and I said, Bert, and it said, Bird, said, who's oh, that? I thought it was the only <laughs> Birdland, like Birdland. Yeah, oh. well that's what Birdland was named after, is Charlie Parker, so yeah, that's my yeah. bird story. Oh, that's wonderful, that's a great yeah. story. Oh, it's sort of and it's a great, <laughs> it's a great, you know, um, trademark, you know? Yeah, Trade yeah. Name. it's mm -hmm. become, mm -hmm. you know. Because when we talked on the phone, you said, hi, this is Bird, <laughs> and I knew who exactly was. That's so funny. Pretty cool. Yes. I have to figure out a cool name for my, you know, Nick. Ginger is is a great name. Come on now, <laughs> right. that's it is. Yeah. It Thank is. you. I, I've I been it. I've had a lot of fun with it. I bet. <laughs> so uh, we have a video now. A oh, two, a new like unreleased. Are you going to show it? Yeah, we oh, have I'm it so ready. Happy. The name of the song is. It's called There Was a Rose. There was a rose. It was really beautiful. I, oh, I must. I probably watched it ten times in a row when I was Did looking. You? Yeah, it was oh, really wonderful. beautiful. I, I wanted to Very mention moving. a couple of people. Then mm -hmm. uh, can I do that? Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, director and producer, his name is Jeff Foster, mm -hmm. and he uh, did an ama amazing job. Uh, thank you, Jeff. And uh, I have Jessica Greenspan and Vinnie Matis are starring in it. Wow. Jessica's my niece, actually. That's cool. And um, and and I, I wanted to give them a shout out. So yeah, that's wonderful. Go. Yeah. So it's a new like unreleased video. Unreleased. Oh. Enjoy, right now. everyone.
Congratulations. Oh, How thank moving. You. I hope your daughter or your um, niece didn't actually die. No. Oh, how did you come no. up with those? Do you write your own songs? Yes. They're so moving. Yes. yes. Oh, and, thank you. I'm and and I'm, and, for, and, and I'm so I'm sure so many parents uh, it's so heartfelt for them for yes, people who have lost. That children. have, I know. Oh, I and know. there's so many. So yeah. many. Jessie's used, Jessie, my niece who was in the video, she's used to uh, doing videos all through her life. She's 22 now, but we used to make, you know, real silly videos. <laughs> so she got some training. <laughs> wow, it was beautiful. Yeah. And good luck with the song and the video because Thank it's absolutely very, very, very moving. Thank you. And, and I loved your makeup. I don't know, did you do your own? Oh, yes, no. I did wow. my own. <laughs> Gorgeous colorization. Oh, that was part of it, okay. too. It was very striking. <laughs> Thank you. And, um, and uh, I really liked it. And, and, and I'd like for you to tell us a little bit about your guitar. Because oh. it's an unusual one. It's a Steinberger. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you probably started seeing them back in uh, the early 80s. Okay. And, and, and it's actually uh, uh, developed by a scientist by the name of Ned Steinberger. Uh -huh. And uh, now Gibson is part of uh, the Steinberger okay. company. Uh -huh. and you used to see Sting with, uh -huh. he made them very, you know, uh, Popular. popular. The, the reason it looks different is there's no headstock. The no, oh, yes. Yeah, so uh -huh. I, you tune it down uh -huh. on the okay. on the right. So that's I that's the style. I love you're it. Used to, yeah. So it's like it fits in the overhead on the planes uh -huh. quite nicely. And you don't have to worry about breaking the neck as much as you no, would with everyone it, else. It, you, a gorilla I, can stand on that thing. And I I, um, <laughs> I look forward to uh, looking at it closer when. Oh, after, very good. Yeah, I'll have to give you some. I'll give oh yeah. You, no, I'm definitely. I'm to play the guitar. Excellent. I mean, I did you know many years ago. Yes. But I, you know, I was finger picking. And then I moved to New York, and you know how you get distracted. Oh but yeah. I picked it back up and. Um, and singing lessons too, so Excellent. you know maybe I could be a backup vocal one day. You never know. Oh, I can't wait. Maybe Absolutely. Next Christmas. Yes. Ron and Angela. For next sure. Year. For sure. I'll <laughs> be <me> back up. <laughs> yes. That's great. I'd like to mention this song I wrote, co-wrote with Doc Thomas, a famous, very very famous songwriter. There is a movie about him called AKA Doc Thomas that his daughter had uh, put out recently. It's won many awards, and uh, I would. Uh, highly recommend seeing that movie. And I just want to say one more thing about this. He wrote the lyrics in 1984. I finished the music in uh, 2012. That's how long it took. This is for you, Doc. Something inside you, maybe I can only see. 
A song. I'm not going to tell you the lyric. Mama had gone. 
It's your will.